And we are back. What's up, man? What's going on with you? Man, nothing much. I am Baron J67. And I am T Jones. And formerly (laughs) the artist, formerly known as XT Jones. The artist. I'm not a damn artist. What the hell is wrong with you? Don't don't listen. Don't disrespect the big dog. Okay? Don't you disrespect the big dog. My name is T Jones. That's what people call me. That's what you will call me. You will respect the big dog. Okay. So he got one he got one early two thousands, late nineties big dog t shirt. And now he, he's the big dog. <laughs> Because he's been referring to himself as that even in the stream. It's really funny. I, I, like, I, 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 actually, I, t- I actually am the big dog. That's he's, why. He's, I'm the big dog. What? Don't, listen, listen, listen. Don't start the podcast off disrespecting the G, okay? Please don't. Don't disrespect me. Don't you do that, okay? Apologize. He's an apology. <laughs> disrespecting the big dog what's up with you man welcome back this this is the adventures of the black nerds um yes, we are <laughs> we and, got a special episode for you today oh yeah we got some stuff to talk first, about first first of all uh happy birthday to you man oh you're becoming a uh i feel i, feel, I, I, was, I was about to say something disrespectful but then i i stopped you're becoming a a, a, a I don't know. Dude. You know, I feel it's like good. I feel like I'm becoming a little more mature. You see, mature I even said I, I said you it will never be mature. <laughs> I said I said it a little mature. Yeah, you um, couldn't be mature I'm, I'm the guy that laughs at little kids falling. Um, You'll be both. I I, I like okay, roast my daughter. I think she has a big head. Question. Huh? We were, we were talking about this at work, and. I don't do it no more. Oh, you ever God. seen uh <laughs> seen... <laughs> I'm not gonna do it there, do it, do it, do it. You ever seen True Life I Stutter? Oh. <laughs> don't laugh. What's wrong with you? I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. Uh don't do that. One oh. of my supervisors at work, he Stop! <laughs> He has a he has that's a stutter, not, but he's cool about it. That's he's not cool. funny, bro. He's cool about it, and Look. we're talking about it. Well, stop laughing! What you laughing for? <laughs> I'm laughing at you trying to hold back <laughs> and be politically <laughs> correct. I'm not laughing to, at people stuttering. Deadpool, red man, look at your face, bro. Look. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> What a way to start the episode. Look, Good job. Yeah, I'm, I'm a terrible human being, man. Look. <laughs> All I, oh my gosh! It's it's all good, man. It's all good. All right. You'll be all right. One one day you'll be all right. <laughs> I just you, I need a we, listen. I need gotta, a for, we, I need a forewarning for certain stuff because I really am childish. And I mean, I think we both. I think we all are. Like in some way, we all have this like this demeanor to laugh at stuff that we're not supposed to laugh at. But I mean. When we come from doing what we used to do, like roasting people, like <laughs> we did weird, this some weird ass shit. Like, Stop laughing. Would you be? Would you be mature? Would you be mature? I can't. I can't. I can't. You're not gonna even get through the I episode. I can't. I can't. Uh, uh, at least tell them what you're laughing at. We don't I even just, know I'm just laughing. laughing at everything. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm I just think about all the funny stuff that I'm <laughs> Okay. So remember no, remember when we had remember remember we had our clique growing up, our little circle of people we used to walk home with from school. And oh. remember when we had a little dude uh we dared him to drink the salt. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> Tell me that was it hilarious. Oh that was oh that was terrible. I'm not gonna lie, I miss our I miss our little circle we have. We Dude, little... I actually miss the struggle of all of that because I can't believe we used to walk so much. We used to walk ever. Bro, you couldn't pay me to walk that much now. No, sir. I needed I swear I'ma need an ice pack. Like I Listen, just there is no way. I, I get mad when I gotta walk to the car to go drive somewhere. Bro, my, I, I try to oh park my. as close to our as I can to the grocery store. Like <laughs> Like, hey, I, I parked in the in the sheriff's parking spot. 
<laughs> that you get a ticket I'm in. so done. I, I swoop in there real quick, run in there, do what I got to do, and get the hell out of there. Bro, it, dude, I lived, what was it, three miles away from the school or like 2.9 miles? Yeah, you live further. Both live, oh, yeah, we were like, right outside the bus right range. outside to get out. We couldn't ride the bus. Man, that was bullshit, ain't it? That was crazy. I remember, and then freshman year, we had to carry the big ass blue bags. Oh yeah, we bro, because we didn't, we didn't, we weren't cool enough to have lockers. The yeah, struggle was, was real. Those those days were fun, but they they did us dirty, man. Because you were, you remember, we both were right outside the range, of, mm-hmm. or right inside the range. Of there not you go. Being able to take the bus, mm-hmm. but you were uphill. Yes. Mine, yes. <laughs> mine was terrain and round corners and over the hills and valleys and mountains and shit but bro it, but it's, you know, it's it was character I, building of course both most of those situ- most of those walk homes literally made us into the people we are today Jesus. childish immature black nerds yeah I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade it for nothing else gosh man that i was probably I'm, I'm in the te- best I'm shape of my, my life i'm teaching my daughter how to roast now you have to, bro no you have to Either eat listen, I told my wife, either my kids gonna know how to roast, they're gonna know how to bag on you like no other, or they're gonna have a mean right hook. <laughs> it's it's gotta be one or the other. You got to. Other and but you prefer people to roast because it's like of course. hopefully you can laugh your way out of a situation. But see, not not in today's day and age, that's kinda hard to say because everything is like there is no back and forth no matter. It's just I'm gonna keep it bottled in, and then you have situations happen. Uh, so, like, yeah. it's a lot of stuff that goes on. And like, even even now, I got I just tell my daughter, like I was, we were joking around about the whole roasting thing, but you know, most of the time when something happens, I'll let her know, hey, go tell the adult. Yep. That's it. Yep. Just go tell the adult or tell me and mommy, and we'll fix figure it out. But you know, as they get older, man, it's either or because I don't want my child to be. I, man, my child should never come home and say, This dude called me such and such. Yeah. Shit, you better say something back. <laughs> you man. better say something back. Man. You remember that video of that? Uh, it was a mom teaching her son how to roast. Yeah. And, he, and she was like, No, nah, you like- got to <laughs> say he built like Mark Henry. But, yeah. and, but no, nah, me. That's- and I picked it up. You know what? I always thought I picked it up from school because Mm -hmm. um, just because being back in the day when it was uh, there weren't that many fat kids. Now it's a bunch of fat kids. Like I just I missed about if I would have just waited like 10, 15 years, I'd have been okay because everybody Mm -hmm. fat. You're making fun of the skinny kids. But (laughs) like like, all your shirt fit. (laughs) (laughs) Your shirt ain't tight enough. Yeah, like, oh, what? You don't wear husky? <laughs> Pip squeak. <laughs> no, right. You, you, so, so. You're right, though. But I always thought it came from school, but I've really sat back and realized it came from having to deal with my family. Yeah. And when I say my family, my immediate family, I mean, I used to watch my parents roast each other. Like. Mm they would go at it and then <laughs> then my mom was r- ruthless she pulled no oh, punches you're, you're, nobody wants it with your mom no nah, bro like she didn't <laughs> pull any punches yeah. she didn't take it easy on nobody still to nope. this day i don't play games like any type of game or like board game monopoly it, trivial pursuit anything with my mother because i i'm i'm gonna call it like it is she cheated and um, you just throw your mom under the bus. Yeah, she cheated because it was Doogie Hauser, but everybody knew it was Doogie Hauser. But that wasn't the answer. The answer had something specific to do with the show Doogie Hauser. We all mm-hmm. could have threw our hand up and said Doogie Hauser, but she yeah. said Doogie Hauser first and claimed she got the point. But that's not the answer. Like, no. Hey, this, this, this is the first time you've told me something that hit your soul. Hey, <laughs> no, this is soul. this is real because this is the day. <laughs> this is the day. Bro, this is the day where I put my foot down and I decided to never play games with my mom. Yeah. We haven't yeah. played a game since. Really? It take my so. it take my aunts to tell you. We yep. we do not I walked away. She called me some names and, and we do, just do tell no i'm not because i love my mama but i need that ammo she called me some names 
And we just don't play games no more. So it's just I love your mom. You know what? Your mom has never f***ed me. Well, that's because she. I think she likes you more than she likes me. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can say the same thing about my grandma. She ain't roast you, and she tried to give you the last apple juice. I never yeah, forget that. That was actually really funny. Ooh, ooh, story time. So let me tell it before he tells it, because if he tells it, it's gonna be crazy. Um, in high school, I had, I got injured in a football game. I messed my knee up all bad, uh, like four different injuries in one leg, and um. So I was, I went, I had surgery and then I was on bed rest for about three months. And he, Baron, my, my boy right here, would come to my house every day. Yep. Every day he would come to my house and uh, sit, chit chat for a bit. Then he would go home. Well, one day he comes over and my, I had a specific room. I couldn't go up the stairs in my room. So I had to stay in our downstairs bedroom. And um, it, it was right next to the kitchen. There's one. I don't know if you guys ever had those um, Martinelli's. Martinelli's uh, apple juices. They come in, in the glass. Circle. In, yeah, this was the glass bottle one, and they're crack. Those things are the best thing on earth. Like they they even had the grape one, which was amazing. Yep. But the apple one was like the classic. Like you couldn't you couldn't fuck with the apple one. The apple Facts. one was just the one. Like you would come home, you would drink like two, three of them, and hide two. I know I used to. I used to drink like two, hide two, so nobody would get it, and then come back for the other two later. Well, one day, I'm in the bed. Uh, my my knee is wrapped up. Um, it's elevated, and I'm like two months in. So I'm standing on my crutches. I'm using my crutches. He comes in. He sits down. We're chopping it up. I, I remember exactly what I was doing. I was playing Pokemon. I was playing Pokemon Silver, and um, or no, it was Red. Emerald. Oh, it was Emerald. Oh, gotcha. Emerald. And I remember because I was trying. I was te- telling him how I was uh leveling my characters while I, or leveling my Pokemon while I sleep. You know the whole uh, hold the button the down. Stand thing, yeah. So I um, we're sitting there talking. He was like, "Yo, man, there's something to drink." And I was like, "I don't know, but there's only one Martinelli's apple juice in there." He was like, he looks at me, and mm-hmm. my grandmother loved him. He <laughs> looks at me, and goes, "I'm gonna go ask grandma." He gets up to go <laughs> ask her. So my big ass, I'm hurt. I'm I got I got 20 stitches in my leg still. And I got it wrapped up. My knee is wrapped. I had just laid down and I was in pain. I remember getting up as fast as I could and running on these crutches, just huh, running <laughs> to the kitchen. <laughs> I ran all the way to the kitchen, opened the refrigerator, and guzzled the damn. This fool apple almost juice. choked. I almost choked on the apple juice because and and I, you know what? To this day, I blame Martinelli's. Why they had to make it so good? <laughs> right, facts. They made it so good. I damn near guzzled the whole thing of apple juice. Almost choked to death. I'm on crutches. I can't stand on my leg. And he comes back. I'm I'm hobbling back into the room. He sees the apple juice all over my shirt. <laughs> he go, Grandma said I can have it, but I can see you already drinking. <laughs> God, man, he was mad at yeah, because he's fat. Like that's why I can't believe you called me fat, man. He almost he wanted the apple juice. I too. wanted no, nah, I wanted the apple juice, and I went and did the right thing and asked for it. Well, it was mine. I told you it was mine. That's you not what Grandma to, said. You, you went to her that because she <laughs> knew she was gonna give it to. You. That's not what Grandma said. Grandma said yeah, it was of mine. Course grandma, because Grandma loves you. So that's you know, I just I will go ahead and say you were stealing. <laughs> I didn't but, steal nothing. <laughs> it's okay, you know. It's but anyway, good. Martinelli's apple, apple juice. juice. If if there was one prayer I had, <laughs> I would hope they would sponsor me and send me. Please, please send me a case, <laughs> just a case just of just fresh, fresh. <laughs> just fresh. Okay, so I gotta, you know, there's a restaurant out there in the world. I'm not gonna say their name, but mm. Paulie's. Um, they have Martinelli's on tap. Out the oh, out the jug, bro. Really? They got the giant glass jugs, and you can I get think unlimited. A up here, un, Polly's pies. You can get unlimited Martinelli's apple there's, juice. I think there's a Polly's pie up here. You just keep it flowing. Just tell them too, like don't stop. Just, just. <laughs> I'm good. I thought I told you that we don't stop. stop. Thought I told you that we don't stop. I'm telling you, bro. Well, okay, so just yeah, we but spent, but back we literally spent like 15 minutes on Martinelli's. 
<laughs> Bro, I'm telling you. Cause it's, We're extremely fat. Mm, yeah, I, I love me some Martinelli's. I actually got all my coworkers at work hooked on it. So now when okay. they do events, they buy Martinelli's apple juice, and I just go in there and take all the extra. Like, oh, like, <laughs> matter of fact, I, had, like, bro, man. <laughs> bro, I had two today. Like that's how serious it is. Really? <laughs> yeah, I haven't I haven't had it in years. Probably because you've been banned by the Martinelli's gods <laughs> for being greedy. Shut up. <laughs> but um, but no, like so back to the whole like roasting thing. Like the whole point of it all with me. Um, it was a it was an important thing for me, like being mm-hmm. able to to get back, being able to keep up, and people kind of. Mm-hmm. You know, I've said some foul stuff like the most the most depressing thing that ever happened to me was uh, <laughs> you remember because you were with me. Were, weren't you with me at the barbershop that day? Oh, no, this is a different one. OK. I'm not sh- OK, just tell a story. <laughs> OK, so I'm at the barbershop and this this girl from uh you know shout out to you if you're watching this. You remember I'm not going to say no names, but this girl from uh high school or from well we were in middle school at the time and she she walked up to me and was like oh baron i remember you and da, 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 da. and it sounded like it was about to be this real good story i think very highly of myself so I, i'm ready for this epic awesome tale about how awesome baron is and okay. then come to find out it was she was like yeah you called me black like it <laughs> <laughs> And I don't think it was the word black. I, I think it was like a funny joke. But, of course it was. But why does all most of the jokes I remember about you you call this somebody black? Well, I, I, nah, because you know what? Because you know what? Hey, Everybody nobody, always try to take the quick, easy, cheap shot at me. The fat one. Yeah. They always try to take the fat joke. I'm like, you, you don't. I've only heard one new fat joke, and that was when my cousin in Alabama called me a bootleg version of Winnie the Pooh. And when I heard that, I was like, you win. Hey, dog, you kind of do look like Winnie the Pooh. And see, disrespect. <laughs> no, but no, I, the one joke I remember from, hey, remember this? You look like that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's an inside joke. Y'all won't get it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you, said, you look like that. <laughs> oh, we were. Man. We were dirty at school, man. Bro. We were, I, I remember when we roasted. It's funny. I'm not going to even say those things, but I remember I had like a small crush on this girl, and then one of our friends in our circle roasted her, and I said, mm. <laughs> Like, <laughs> no. No. Bro. No, man. It just, I don't know. I just, I felt like it was always a, for me, it was always a necessary, I guess, skill. Um yeah. I feel like I've lost it until I get around like my brother or my sister, because nah, then they, bro- they bring it. I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a be honest. Your brother got it. I don't know what where he got it from, but he got it, man. I, he snap. He he, he be, snap. He be shooting. He be, he be snapping, man. And shout out to shout out to my little brother. He actually just crossed over. He became mm. a he's an alpha man now. Yeah, I see shout him out, out to him dancing at the gas pump. Yeah, he be strolling every every chance he get. <laughs> uh, Man, he oh, getting big too. Yeah, right. God, Jesus, I hope he goes pro. But okay, so I guess back on topic. Back on topic. So roasting. <laughs> let's let's move over to something. So, oh, you mentioned my birthday. So my family yeah. they actually took me out to uh, well my. I, it's funny because usually when you say your family, you think like your mom, your dad. But now it's like no, my two kids and my wife. Yeah. They, they, <laughs> my family. They took yeah. me to um, Universal Studios, and then mm. they took me to um, WonderCon. Was what? that in LA? Uh, Anaheim. And okay. It was, Damn, but man. let the angels tell it, LA. Mm. Um, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, let the angels tell it, LA. Mm. Um. But it was um it was real dope, man. Like I haven't been to Universal Studios in years. Really? When I say years, I didn't know they did a Simpsons thing. I didn't wow. know, that's how long it's been, bro. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know they did Simpsons. I didn't know about um 
the the minions wonderland thing okay. I, bro i i that, felt that's fairly new because i didn't get to see that the last time we went last year oh okay and then of course i didn't get to see harry potter and hogsmeade yeah. and the wonderful land of harry potter and that was the first place we went because i was like mm. okay above all i can go without seeing anything else if as long as i see harry potter i went yeah. and had uh i went and had butter beer which it was good for a little bit. It was one of those things where I'm happy I tried it, but I'm glad I didn't finish it. Um, and then and then I had the the pumpkin the pumpkin juice. Glad I tried it. Glad I tried it. Glad I didn't finish it. Um, it it tasted like a caramel apple spice from Starbucks with mm. pumpkin spice sprinkled on top. So okay. it was different. It was really like you have to really be into that. Yeah, like it's not it's not for everybody, but like an acquired taste very much so. Um, I was just happy to try it. I just wanted to go and try stuff. So we went to one of the shows. We went to the Juan show, and you know I'm up in there like a little kid, probably the biggest thing in there, like <laughs> all excited. And I was hoping yeah. the lady was gonna pick me to be the the chosen wizard, but I guess it was just for kids. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, and I, 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 I and I'm up in there groaning, groan like. So y'all not y'all not gonna pick me. Let it be known that you upset. Like <laughs> tapping stuff, moving stuff. But so they do the whole magic show, and I'm jealous because the little girl got a free wand. But mm. it's all good. I ain't tripping. Kind of. Yeah. I'm tripping. tripping. <laughs> but then we go to the store, and Kylie was like, "Pick a wand," and I was like, "What?" She was like, "Yeah, pick a wand," and I was like. Oh, okay. So I took about 15, 20 minutes to choose my wand because of you got to make sure it's it fits your your chakra and uh, fits your aura and make sure like your, your power. You don't choose straight. your wand. It wand choose, chooses you. Yeah. So the light. Like, hit, that's a segue, dog. That's that, a segue. That, that, that's that's exactly what happens. So yeah. the light hit this box and it like gleamed at me and I was like, that's the one. And I mm. opened it up, but then it wasn't the one because it was chipped. So I put it back and grabbed the one next to it. <laughs> hey, how do you go disrespect the one that chose you? It made a mistake. <laughs> that, 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 mm, that, it, he said it, it made that, a mistake. Yeah, that one chose wrong. Oh, um, yeah, I think it was looking at the person behind me. But, um, so I got my wand, it's made of birch wood. It has mm. a little crook in it, and um, it's powerful. I try not to wave it around too much because I don't want to destroy nothing. So um, I got that. Then WonderCon. Well, the next day, so Kylie was like, oh, hey, you know, more stuff's about to happen, so go to bed early. So I was like, ooh, yeah, you know me. Of course, I didn't go to bed early because I'm like a little kid. Not. Yeah, I'm immature. So I'm sitting up, watching TV shows, eating cereal, waiting worse than a kid on Chris, uh, waiting for Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I get in the car, pass out. Cause of course I stayed up all night and I wake up, we're in Anaheim at Roscoe's and I was like, Hey, Anaheim convention center, WonderCon, put two and two together. <laughs> Boom. Uh, you we're, going, it out. we're going to WonderCon. Mm -hmm. And she gave me my pass and we went, found parking, had a good time. Uh, met a bunch of different artists. Actually what's dope is, um, these, uh, Walter and David, uh, I forgot the name of their production company. I got their, their card back there um we could put their info down below they actually want to get interviewed by us they they got signed on with the company that produces the rick and morty comics and they got a comic book series coming out and um i, got, I bought a bunch of art that's honestly that's what i i love about WonderCon is artist alley that's the yeah. one thing i go for the most I go and I buy as much art as possible. These pieces back here, a lot of them are from different art walks. Are um, the Rick and Morty and the um, and the Steven Universe? That's from WonderCon from two years ago. Um, mm. And so I do my best to pick up as much art as possible. And you you've seen my room. I buy yeah, a, yeah. I buy a lot of art. Um, you see mine's too. I got art. Yeah, I got art and shit. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> hey man, don't laugh, dog. Man, I, I, you I know. Be encouraging. Yeah, my you, you'll, you'll get there, man. No, Say that's that. no, that's really all it takes. It once yeah. you, especially when you find a theme or a style or an artist, you really get hooked on. You really just kind of go for it. Um, so I picked up a bunch of different stuff. Like a guy did a a black version of um Teen Titans. So he did a a oh, reverse shit. race. So uh. 
Beast Boy, uh, Raven, Robin, and um, and Starfire, they're they're black or with uh-huh. black ethnic features. And then you got uh, uh, oh my god, I can't Cyborg. Remember. Cyborg. Thank you. I can't believe I forgot his name. Then you got Cyborg, and he's a white boy. So it's real dope. Like it's just a cool little take. And um, then I got a bunch of different stuff like um, Cowboy Bebop and. Mm. Uh, Infinity, uh, the Avengers, Infinity War, uh, of course, Black Panther. I picked up some different pieces, but long story short, I had an amazing time. I met the the Latina Wonder Woman. Oh, really? She was like the Tia. She had a golden chancla. She, <laughs> bruh, she was the coolest lady on earth. She was running around with a golden chancla. Posing she was cosplay, yeah, and she was holding uh, it out like, and I was like, oh, chancletasos, like she was ready to yeah. issue some pain, and um, and then who else? Uh, the guys from Impractical Jokers were there, um, mm. who and oh, okay, with the Impractical Jokers guys, I up until WonderCon, I never understood how people just didn't recognize them. I was yeah. like, how do you not know who they are? But then when I came across them in person. When you when I first saw him, I was like, I know him from somewhere, but I don't know where I know him. Yeah. And then I somebody started taking pictures, and then it dawned on me. I was like, Impractical Jokers. Oh, but man. I could totally see how people don't know who they are, because they look they like look normal regular. guys. They look, they look like regular, just yeah. normal dudes. So if you don't watch the show regularly, you could easily get caught up in one of their pranks and not even mm-hmm. realize it. Um, I my dumb self, I'd probably get caught up like. I'd realize it halfway into it. Like, oh, it's you. But it's too late at that point. Um, that's, that's no outtakes. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, they're like, oh, bro, it's done. Um, yeah. You already fell for it. <laughs> but, no, nah, I had an amazing time. Um, I really want to do my next con, my next conference, uh, which the next one coming up would be Comic-Con, which I don't I don't think I'm going. But I want to uh, Comic-Con is in San Diego. When? Uh, do you're making me sound terrible? I don't know exactly when, don't but trick. the tickets went on sale Got already. Google, son. Google search, but um, I want to do the full weekend. I want to go get a place nearby, go enjoy it, walk around leisurely, see everything, and then go home, go back to the room, chill, eat, party, then wake up, go back and do it again. Blah 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 blah. Because it it as fun as it is to go for one day. It, it kind of rush you get rushed oh shit what it's april 4th comic-con is that new york comic-con or san diego comic-con san diego oh well yeah i definitely didn't get tickets unless my wife surprised me with those too yeah wednesday april 4th at 9 a.m yep yep so uh yeah Damn. yeah yeah that, that hurts me a little bit. Nah, I don't. Nah, bro. It it's a it's a process, and the cool thing is, if you ever go, you're always get updates on um, when the tickets go up. So I should have yeah. known it was coming up soon because they did send emails and whatnot out. But people who are going to Comic Con, let us know in the comments or have been before. Let us know your favorite part, um, and really engage us, man, because we we love talking to people. Clearly, I t- I talk too much. See, I've never been to a Comic Con. I've never been to WonderCon, never been to TwitchCon, never been to none of these cons, never been to an event. And the only reason why is because my schedules never permit me to go. Mm. Never. Mm. Never. And 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 now and I'm scared. I'm so scared this year because I got a baby boy on the way. Congrats. Thank you. But he's right around that time of MLG Anaheim. <laughs> Right around that time, and I'm so scared. I'm just so scared, man. I want to go, but I, you know, my wife was like, "Oh no, you should, you, you'll be able to make it. You'll be all right." This and the third. I'm trying to get my schedule right, trying to do everything I possibly can to go, and I just cannot go, man. I just don't know if I can be able to go. I got you. You you know me, man. I'm, I'm probably like a terrible husband. I, I roll all the risk. What did we do? Didn't we do a turnaround trip to Arizona the weekend before my uh, wedding? Yeah, we went to a, a Mortal Kombat uh, tournament. Mortal Kombat? Yeah, we went to a Mortal Kombat tournament in Arizona uh, the weekend before my wedding. Mm, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember that. That was crazy. That was crazy. And then uh, what else did I do? Um, I went out and like played Pokemon Go. 
because my daughter was born the day Pokemon Go came out. Mm-hmm. Um, or the day after or the day before or the day of one of those. It was one of the three. Um, and I was like out and about like playing Pokemon Go. I'm Dude, it. I'm starting to feel like I'm more like Goku than anything else. <laughs> Like, you ain't got no piccolo in your life. Right? Nah, man. <laughs> Kylie's the piccolo and <laughs> piccolo and Chi Chi. And Chi Chi at the same time. Like, dang, man. Dang. Man. Man. I'm terrible. But um I don't know. You know what, man? I think the reason I'm that way, and I'm not terrible. I take care of my kids. I do what I gotta do. I've oh, said No, no, no. No, I know. Yeah. Never, never you don't have that the reason why ain't nothing wrong with that is and I say this to my wife all the time. I tell her, listen, if we're not A1, if you're not A1, or you're not in a good spot, I'm not in a good spot, or our household isn't in a good spot, then nothing, nothing's nothing good. on the in the queue. Nothing's in the queue to get done yep. until that gets straight. But Facts. once we're solid, once I don't have to worry about you, you're good. Me, vice versa, our daughter, our, my son, our house, then, you know, we're free to do anything. Like, we're free to go ahead. My wife may say no, but I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go down the hill. You got everything? So I think the same thing with you. Like, not only do you got Kylie with you, but I don't think there's nothing that is that important. Like, if y'all not good, one of y'all sick or something's happening, y'all, you ain't about to go play no Pokemon. Nah, right? hell no. Yeah. And so, and that's the that's the trippy thing. Um, like, um I've what something came up and I I turned it down, but whatever. The whole point mm-hmm. it, it piggybacks off of what you just said. Yeah, if I'm. There's no way I'm gonna neglect something that's supposed to go down here or neglect my family for any of this. Of course, but I at the same time my my big point. Uh, one thing that I always hated uh, hearing, especially me being so young. I mean, I had a kid at what. Before I was twenty six, or after mm-hmm. when I was twenty six, so yeah. I um always heard, oh, you know, you're not gonna be able to do things like you normally do, and this yeah. and that. I mean, I took my four week old daughter. We flew to Alabama, like we we did all type of craziness. We've traveled, like we drove up to Lake Elsinore, like just all type of craziness, and all of it is with that whole thing of I'm not. I'm not going to stop living just because I have kids. Actually, mm-hmm. they, I want to do more because I have kids. Like, yeah, so they, they get to experience things too. Exactly. You know, but you, you're right. I think you were the first person to say that. Like, yo, just because I'm I'm a dad doesn't mean I'm not a husband. It, oh, just, I'm a husband you know? first. I, always, I look exactly. my daughter in the face. But like, I've known your mama longer than you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I say that all the time. I beat it. Yeah. I look at her like, I love you and all that, but that's my wife. Uh, uh, don't be disrespecting my that. wife. Like, you know, in in I, like I said, I agree with that to the fullest. And it's just I never have anything to say anything as long as my abilities are taken care. Of. Once my I know my responsibilities are solid, straight. I ain't got nothing to worry about. I'm good. I ain't got to. I ain't got to worry about nothing. And that and once my responsibilities taken care of, that's why I can do stuff like buy pops and pictures. <laughs> Yeah. And, and Harry Potter wands and other <laughs> stuff that probably means nothing to everybody until else in the until world. Start, until you got to start getting three of each. Yeah, see that. Like, I'm not going to lie. That's sad, but that I'm going to be real honest. That was one thing I was worried about. I was like, damn, my mm-hmm. kids, they're going to be into video games and stuff, and they're going to want to take turns. And nah, I already got mines. They got to start from the bottom. SPs, man. Mm-hmm. Game Boy SPs. And then they gotta level up. If they don't level up, you ain't get. Yep. You, ain't, you can't. You can't hit the sticks if you ain't master that uh, that SP yet. So. Yep. I need you to go ahead and beat this Mario. I need you to go mm-hmm. ahead and beat this Pokemon, and then we can talk. Exactly. So. Yeah. No, I'm. And then you can get a DS, and then yeah. and then you after that, I slide you a Wii. And then when you're done with your Wii, you might get a PlayStation 2, and you're going to be on that for some years. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you got Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, 
games to get through. Man, and then you got to master the memory card and know the struggle. Ooh. Yeah. No, you know what? I won't do that. I, my bill, my my light bill. It's gonna be high, man. <laughs> no, sir. No, I'm good. You take this memory card and you better work with it. Man, make it, it sixty-four work. megabytes. <laughs> oh my. Oh, bro, dude. I think they said they took a um it was a flash drive. It it didn't even have that much data and it they said it had enough it had every Sega game ever made. Like Sega Genesis Goodness. game. Like it wow. was that's how small all the games were. The games and, were yeah. and with those games, if I'm not mistaken, the biggest part of most of them were the sound. Sound mm-hmm. had was the most like uh uh took up the most memory. Yeah. Like hey, did you ever play Sinistar? No. Dude, you never played it at the arcade where you'd be like flying in a little ship and then this big ass uh, cat monster thing would come on and be like, I live! It scared no. us. Bro, that used to scare the living shit out of me. It was. Man. Arca- hey, man, when I used to go to the arcades, I used to try to play only Street Fighter, mm. Raiden. Mm. I don't know if you remember Raiden. Yep. Or Dig Dug. Ooh. Raiden 2. And I actually got that and on Raiden, PS3. And Raiden was the flying game, right? Yeah, yeah. The, the side uh-huh. plane shit. That was one of my favorite games. That's actually on play. I got that on. I downloaded it into my PS3 account. And um, uh, what else? I got a gang of Street Fighter games. On, I got a gang of games underneath my PlayStation 3 account, man. Like, I got a gang of fucking games. I was looking you at the got, list. You ain't got Street Fighter Third Strike. Man, I got I got a gang of Street Fighters in the I got Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Do you got heroes? I don't know. I just got a gang of games underneath my Street Fighter. I got all the Resident Evils, all of them. Ooh. Bro. All of them. When Nemesis busted through the wall. Nah, I was shitting myself. <laughs> I remember playing that. I remember playing that. Or not playing it. Watching my, my uh brother in law play it. Mm. And I remember sitting there under the covers. Watching it, but as soon as he covers over my head, I used to get scared. He used to play all those. My brother used to play Berserker. Out that game scared me. That game that shit scared the hell out of me too. What else? Medieval. You ever, you ever, what's the name? Medieval. Of medieval. It was called that medieval. Game, yeah, You're but it was about, cartoon. That yep. shit was scary as hell too. Yep. <laughs> so, as a young kid, there was a lot of games that scared me. Oh, there was another game called Spy. It was something Spider. You were a spider on PlayStation. This is old. This is back when the PlayStation first came out. Spider. It was a Spider game. You played as a. Sp- it was a demo. When you bought the game, when you bought it, they gave you two demos. It was one of the demos. He got the game, and he was playing it, and it it just freaked me out. I'm Let like, us know oh. in the comments if you know what yeah, game he's talking about. Especially if you guys know that game, because that was a that was a game I I'm willing to to go back and play because I ain't know shit about it. I just remember it was a Spider. You know, Spyro what, was you know, one of my favorite oh, games. Oh, Spyro on was dope, man. Spyro. Yeah. And then, you know what? You know what system I really loved? And it was just so far ahead of its time. Um, was the Dreamcast. Oh, yeah. Power the, Stone. The, uh, Sonic, the DX Director's Cut. Um, Sonic, uh, the Chaos Ember ones. Yep. That's the one. Yep. And then yeah. remember, remember it had the little side game where you get to play and power up your chaos dudes. And then you got to play as knuckles. You got, to, it was mm-hmm. just dope that I haven't enjoyed a Sonic game since personally. So, remember, see a lot of people don't remember that the drink has have the memory stick with the car, with the thing you popped it in there. And didn't it have a DVD player as well? Yeah. You could play DVDs yep. on it. Yep. The, 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 the Dreamcast was, was, it was way yeah, ahead of its time. It was way ahead of its time. And it could have competed don't... with the 360 and the PlayStation 3, oh, in my opinion. Yeah. The, the 360, yeah. Hell yeah. Because it came out before it. Yeah. Because remember, it came out. Was it? It came was out it, during no. PlayStation 2. Wasn't it before? I thought it was before. Wasn't it before? It was Xbox right before PlayStation, PlayStation 2. 2. Yep. It was right before okay. PlayStation 2 for I sure. I remember playing the shit out of that game. Yep. And I remember every was and it was funny. Crazy Taxi. Oh, dude. Crazy Taxi. Oh, that was a man. good game. Berserker was the first time I was introduced to it. Berserk was on there. Um, what else was another one? Um, 
Let us know in the comments below. I'm gonna say that a lot because I really want you guys your, to get your, going in the comments. Let us your know your favorite Dreamcast game. Mine was Power Stone. I still yeah. think that was one of the best four player fighting. I don't even think it was four players, but it was uh, a fighter in the arena would destroy, and you had to grab items. It felt like Smash Brothers before Smash Brothers. Mm. Um, and then uh, what else? But oh, so back to the arcade though. I used to always go to um to I I would go to arcade looking for Marvel superheroes because you got to fight and destroy the area around you, get slammed through mm-hmm. the ground and whatnot. And then the Simpsons game, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and then the X Men game. I loved the hell out of those things, and I yeah. would drop all my quarters into those. <laughs> um, and then uh, what what Street Fighter? Oh, are you okay? So I don't skate. And I, I suck at skating. I don't skate, period. But there's a skating rink, and it always had an old school uh, Dragon Ball Z game. I forgot. You remember the old ones? They always had some crazy title that I just don't remember. And mm-hmm. it was on a, it was in a box. So you got to go and put your quarters in and play. I would spend. I would go to the skating rink just for that game. Wouldn't skate. Just be up in there dropping all my money on this damn game. Hey, Ben, come skate. Nah, I'm about to play. Nah, I'm good over here. <laughs> um, but it was, man, that's just arcades, bro. And I I was actually happy a couple years back when Howie's Game Shack came about. And, mm, yeah, and, that, was a, that was a good thing. Yeah, and it came about, jumped in, and it brought kind of back that arcade feel, but with a modern twist. Pay mm. a couple, pay so much an hour, get to do whatever you want in there. They had consoles they had couches they had pc it was it was there for you but it just yeah. didn't hold man people you know people don't that should have showed the sign of the times people don't want to leave their house remember no. when remember when they thought we used to think sending uh having groceries delivered to your house was dumb now yeah. it's the new norm mm-hmm. like you look instacart. instacart my wife does it see when she she was like oh yeah groceries are on their way i said groceries are on, groceries their, on way. their way like, yeah. They, they they just activated Instacart. I was like, really? Okay. Well, I mean, it's called uh, Amazy and a couple of th- other things. But, look, it's but, like, okay. Shit. I mean, we can we can get pretty much anything to our house. Yep. Man. And then Nobody Amazon. Amazon killed Toys R Us. Like, mm-hmm. oh, Toys R Us. So yeah. have you been? Have you been to an? Uh, no. One there's liquid- no Toys R Us up here. Oh. No, I gotta go hit up a liquidation sale at least a couple more times. I want to go at least two more times. There's probably yeah. nothing left now because when I went to the one, uh, the one by my house or by my mom's house, man, it was de- desolate. They broke yeah. that place down. People were like the pop section had the same three toys. It was like Princess, uh, uh, f- not Princess Fiona, whatever. It was just one little princess and her goat. That's yeah. all they had. All the pop figures, <laughs> man. The pop figures was gone. All like, but only thing that was see, left was like a Przingis. I could, see that, I could see that with a lot of things. Like, I could see that happening with a lot. Like, what's what's going on with um, Toys R Us? I could see that happening to a lot of other companies. You know, oh, we, oh. you know, but and you can argue but that not happening to Best Buy because there's a lot of people. Like to go in the store for their electronics. Well, Best Buy, remember they closed. They closed. I want to say over like fifty stores. Remember? Yeah. They, That's pretty much all they probably need. Well, because you got to think, man. It brick and mortar stores are starting to die. Like mm-hmm. they already claimed that, um, or at least a couple. I want to say it was Fortune or Business Insider. I don't know exactly, but one of the uh, one of them claimed that within the next 15, 20 years malls are going to be extinct like mm-hmm. it won't you know because people don't meet up at physical places anymore yeah like not like they used to they still do of course malls are still jumping you know these places but they don't they're not the main source anymore look what we're doing no. now we're communicating through discord exactly you, you yeah. know what i mean yeah. it, it just and then people are staying constantly updated on social media that the whole you don't need to do it like you used to in order to Hell, keep you up don't need people. to go watch movies no more go on no, go, man they tell you piece by piece mm-hmm. break it all the way down it, it just that's just the way it goes and it's like, it's a sign my, of the times like like funny. gary v says evolve it's funny how like my wife 
I remember my wife saying to me one time, you know, you can't you can't go a day without your phone. And now that we're having this conversation, you damn right I can't. Yeah. I can't. You wanna know why? Because my phone is my life. It really <laughs> is. Like, think about it. Think about everything you do on your phone. Bro, you I even read, read my comics. I even read my books and my comics on my you phone. You can watch TV on your phone. I've done you can that. Watch movies on your phone. I, you can I do that. To the news on the phone. You I, can get yeah. traffic updates on the phone. Yeah. What the? What else am I supposed to do? Yeah. And <laughs> you know, and other in, than and then knowing that f- you either grow and evolve or die. Yeah, I'm not an old head. Yeah, oh no. I'm only an old head when it comes to music. <laughs> I'm a pick and choose that one. I'ma say that now. <laughs> well, he's just gonna throw that out there. Um mm-hmm. you, you know what, man? I but seriously, like you have to make those you gotta make those adjustments and I get it. You know, some things are really hard to accept. Like me, yeah. I know for me, I, I used to love them all. Uh, I I still go to Game Stops. I like going to brick and mortar stores, just like and I actually I talked about that in a previous video I just made and a video I just made that I'll be up a little uh, later this week or next week. Um, I don't like to order pop figures because it's too easy. Like it takes it takes the fun out of it for me. For yeah, me, you want to hunt them down. Exactly. I like being yeah. able to walk into a store. Now I don't go crazy. I'm not driving across California looking for pops. <laughs> But I like the but feeling you know, of walking you know there's into some a, pops you have to order. Exa- yeah, well, of course, I know that, which I or you can go to WonderCon uh, or that. But and that's that's, that's what happens. That's, re- that's reseller market. <laughs> hey, no. Well, no. Let me tell you. So my Spike Spiegel, because I have the whole set for Cowboy Bebop now. And um, the only character I was missing, the only pop I was missing was the main character, Spike. Well, I ended up getting him for 20 bucks. When normally he's on the minimum on Amazon, he sells for 30, 30, uh, 39, almost 40, depending on where you're going. So it just it worked out perfect. And then it felt yeah. good to actually walk up, see it, feel it. No, I don't have to worry about a, uh, a freaking porch pirate stealing it. You know what I mean? Like being porch able pirates. to. They're real, bro. Yes, mm, they are. They are very real you people. See, did you see the video of the lady? <laughs> they were trying to steal boxes and she slipped and broke her leg. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. That that was funny. Back to laughing at people. That yes. Shit is funny. Yo, thieving ass. Break your leg. <laughs> but you know what's so stupid? She probably can win a lawsuit against them. Like, why was yeah. that there? Yeah. Bro. I ain't jumping down that rabbit hole with yep. you. <laughs> yep. I'm not even no. But yeah. but the whole the whole the whole point is I like the feel of the of walking in, seeing it. Oh, y'all came out with that. Mm -hmm. The shock. I don't even really pre-order them. Only one I ever pre-ordered was a um, was a pickle Rick. I pre-ordered a pickle Rick uh, from Rick and Morty. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I like going to these to like GameStop. Mm -hmm. You know, even if even if I force myself to buy something, it's the conversation that I like. People's opinions, getting to talk to them about stuff. I remember going into GameStop and I spent like an hour in there talking to this guy. It was slow, and we're just sitting in there talking, and we were talking about Destiny, and uh, we were just sitting in there having a long conversation because, um, oh, sorry, I was getting a call. Sitting there having a long conversation about it because um, we were just talking about the game and how yeah. he, like, he didn't have any friends and doing the raid was was hard. And I was giving him like tips and shit. So, But we had a long conversation, not only about that, but about like games we were looking forward to coming out, like our we, our gaming rooms, what, what, our, what we need for our gaming rooms. It's a long conversation. And you don't have conversation like that no more. So you gotta go to these places to have them, you know. Or you gotta jump in the forums, yeah. Or for, yeah, forums. But see, even that's just like with you, with not having the book in your hand, holding the conversation. This is why I don't like texting. Mm. That's why I'd rather call you on the phone. Mm. Like you know, you'll text me. My wife hate it. She'll text me something, and I'll call her. Yep. Just text me back. No, man, I ain't trying to right. texting. Is you know, it's it's. I, I was never a big huge texter. So, yeah, I I don't know how my wife decided to stay with me because she texts me and I'm like, oh cool, 
<laughs> you don't know what to say back. <laughs> yeah, like I and I'm so bad with um I can I can small talk, but I try to pick topics and run with it. So, yeah. but what ends up happening is like for example, um if I'm on the like if I call somebody and there's something I want, you you see I I could go a week not talking to you and be like, "Hey, so did you get this? Let me yeah. get that." All right, bye. Like yeah. it, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> I don't like to I don't like to play over the phone and do the whole back and forth dance thing like oh mm-hmm. how's it going how's the kids like yeah. I, like hey so you <laughs> like, get to the point man exactly because like, yeah, you know I don't me. like to BS people of course and um I just you know and Thanos is bleaching um uh yeah yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so nah, bro, so let's let's think about this, and then we are gonna jump into comics. I'm gonna segue from movies to comics because yeah. we're we really do only got a few more minutes. Um, we got a few minutes, but that that's that's a good thing. Exactly. So let's okay get your segue. So, are you we in the next like three months? Well, starting this weekend, up until the next like two three months. We got Avengers. We got Deadpool. Ready Player One. Um, Ready Player One is Thursday. That's what I'm saying. That that's why I said this weekend. Like mm-hmm. we, it, it is a good time to be a nerd. Yeah. Um, it, it not even just a nerd. Just a good time for superhero movies, comic books, books turned to movies, which most movies are from books. But um, and my tip out there to people going to see Ready Player One. Please read the book, but do not go to go see this movie expecting it to be the movie. The movie. Don't or yeah, don't the, don't expect, expect the, the movie, movie to be the movie book. Be the book. Yeah. Yes, it's gonna take as many major points as it can, but they can't get all those words, all those moments, all those all the copyrights because that's they actually the big for all of that shit that's the biggest problem with ready player one just giving yeah. people a heads up the copyrights they can't afford to get like them the movie would go bankrupt they would spend yeah, a, it had know, everything from war games pay. bro it had war games it had um pac pac-man I, all of I'm that not, see i won't be surprised if they get some oh of course oh yeah, yeah if yeah. they get some i'm cool with that they get like major things that we need about i'm cool with that or they're you gonna replace it in a way to where it feels natural of course and like and naturally you would hope that they would do something like like, like in the commercials you see uh you see tracer from overwatch yeah. you see the iron giant you see yeah, different exactly. and i i from what i remember they tracer for sure wasn't in the book but mm, no, you, hell no yeah but you see different major characters that iron giant wasn't in the damn book. he wasn't in the book either but it just they made some good replacements, and I'm excited. I, see, this is this is my expectation. My expectation for Ready Player One will not be all them old school ass games. It's gonna be a modern It'll be take. old school ass games to kids nowadays. Mm. You know, so we're gonna get like console gaming mm-hmm. type shit, and I'm cool with that. If the movie still has the same premise, it's, it, it, if the acting is good, if the character development is good, if the uh if the story flows i'm cool with all of yep. that. yep i'm going you know, in but, to enjoy the movie i'm going yeah. to watch this as a standalone there was never a book i just want to see full dive technology movie i can't exactly. wait bro i cannot wait for full dive technology this is a prayer i pray at least once a week that i live long enough to experience and fully jump in and enjoy full dive tech can you imagine yeah. Putting on a headset, tapping some pair of glasses, flicking your contact lens, and being in a whole digital world. world, man, bro, would leave, dog, bro. You I, know what I would create see. as like somebody with an imagination. You know what the fuck I would create? I would do some way off, like not out of bound stuff, but like. Stuff that I thought about like as a kid. Yep. Like my my big kid would come out like yeah. Like I'd be weird. I I'd just do some off the chain stuff because it's so much stuff I thought about. Like imagine like your favorite game. Like yo, they should have put this in my favorite game. And you get to I'm create it. All of that. And you get to create it. And you get to make it, it would, happen. 
Exactly. And it was just so dope. The, you, everybody needs to read that book. Go yeah. read that book. It's a, it's a, if you're listening to us, please go read it. It, it Ready Player One is an amazing book. It, I, it was a serious page turner. Mm-hmm. I, I finished it in like, and that was with me going slow. I think I finished it in like three days, and, four days. And the Audible is a good listen. Oh, see, I didn't even get the Audible. You know see, me. I I, the, I, yeah. I got the book, son. Yep. That's the book. And I got the Audible. The Audible. I listened to the I read the book and didn't really remember a lot of parts and then listened to the audible and you know I can pretty much remember everything that went on in it. Yep. You know, and that's because I in a sense read it twice. So it, no, that's exactly it. what happens in, and for those in school, pro tip, when you when you're studying anything, make flashcards, make cheat mm-hmm. sheets. Because what happens is you're reading the information you're writing it down and then you're looking at it again. So you're looking at it three different ways. And that's that's why it's best to always make a cheat sheet, even if you can't use it. I'm not saying cheat. What I'm saying is make a cheat sheet because it's a dope way for you to memorize and really learn the information. Because what I ha- where I learned that from was from an art history class. And I'm going off on tangent, but I'm trying to make it quick. Teacher gave us a three by four, uh, a three by four or four by three, whatever card index card. And he said, whatever you can fit on there, you can use during the test. So I took a magnifying glass and I was (laughs) writing and I wrote, spent nights writing the flashcard, making it, filling it up top to bottom. Come to the test. I would know where the answer was on the flashcard. Like, and and it dawned on me, you know it like you like it, it just. And of you course, know, you just need that jog of a mem- of your memory. Yep. So yeah. that's why it's always a good, you know, just pro tip for those in school. But OK, so what do you, um, I know for me, honestly, if I had to pick something, I'm most excited for Ready Player One. And that's just because I've read the book. I invested the time yeah. and I love the world. Same, same here. You ain't even got to go. Ask. Yeah. Uh, the, the Avenger movies are going to be. Yeah. But those are with those with those movies, we kind of know what to expect mm-hmm. in those movies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, how the, they go about what we know to expect is up to the writers and the movie itself. But we know what to expect. Yeah. Big guy, Infinity Stones. I want them all. Yep. And whoop, I, I, so, honestly, I, I really I know we talked about it before. Um And I put it in one of my other videos. I really think Thor's going to I think Thor's going to die. I mean, because somebody has we'll, to die. We'll see. Somebody has to die. If it's nobody happy. dies, I'm going to be pissed. I won't. <sighs> I won't. I won't. Because if if no one dies, if no one dies, this sets up like we talked about. Oh, this yeah. Because there's a bunch of different stuff. Because, and remember, and I know we, t- and like you said, we talked about this with Tone Deaf. Because we want to discuss it. Yeah. But we, we talked about yeah. it. So let's not, let's save that for Go check out our day. Tone, go check out our Tone Deaf interview, our first episode over there. Yes. Um, Shout out Tone Deaf Radio. Tone actually. Deaf Radio. Shout out to them. But yeah, I don't want to ruin it, but I won't be happy if no one dies because that sets up for an amazing thriller. Oh man, I just or, uh, and intro then, to the and then Deadpool, bro. Deadpool, we know is gonna be. I can't wait. I hope I laugh my ass off, bro. Oh, I'm already ready. It's hilarious. I'm already ready, and it, it just it, but it it feels so good having all these movies. And then after that, what is it? Um, Ant Man and Wasp. Uh, uh, the Wasp. Then uh, I don't know off the top of my head. I'm trying to think. Then of course Ooh, you got they, the. Ju- they announced. Didn't they just announce? Um, was it Luke Cage season two? Oh yeah, Luke Cage season two. Yeah, they announced Jessica that. Jones came out. Season two came exactly. out. Exactly. So, so then you know you're gonna get more Daredevil. Then you know you're gonna get a, more Punisher. They got a gang of shit coming. It, it's just. I'm waiting for a Blade I, reboot. Personally. Me too. Me too, man. I love Blade. Blade. People was, didn't like the. Some people talked messed about the movie. I the movies the were movie. dope. The movies yes. were dope. The the movies to me were amazing. His I fight scenes Blade. were sick. Yeah, because when he punched you, it was like he, <laughs> like he flexed. And so then it his, like it, man, <laughs> it like boom, and they'd fly like, across the room. 
but Blade was amazing. And then you got to think about all the TV shows in between. I know we brought up Jessica Jones and we brought up uh, Daredevil and Luke Cage. But you got to think you got the Flash, you got Arrow, you got Black Lightning, which Lord forgive me. I haven't watched any because I'm still trying to catch up on all this other stuff. So I think with Black Lightning, I'm going to just go ahead and be behind and avoid Twitter and just (laughs) watch and just uh, watch it all once it's finished. Uh, Legion. Legion season one yeah, and man. season two. Season two is about to start. Um, I'm burnt so out. Okay, more. in these last minutes, because we're literally at our mark. Can we talk about how trash The Walking Dead is? I haven't seen the last one, and I've was it the last one I missed? I I think it was the last one I missed. Bro, I don't think it's trash, bro. I fast forwarded through the episode with uh, you know who dying spoilers yeah but when i heard when i heard about that situation i'm that ain't no goddamn spoiler they fired him he got fired for something did you know that uh see i didn't i i don't have any drive to watch the walking okay, dead so news was they are getting rid of his they were getting rid of his character because they were letting him go that's why that part that part to me i didn't give a shit about that car once i heard about it i was like man he dead. Fuck that. I see. Just I don't even know the that. Story. I'm trying to get on to the battle and, you know, but they, they got to draw it out. And I, I was trying to explain it to this guy. The reason why they're drawing it out is because they got, they don't want it to end like this part of the, the, the comic. They don't want it to end like that right now because yeah, they could, they could give us one episode that a kid, that a, that will give us everything we need to do to say, yo, the Walking Dead was hot shit. Like they could really do and, that, but and, all that extra shit is just filler. That's all it is. And this is and this is the problem. It's not an anime, bro. Like this is an hour long episode, and you're giving yeah. me junk that has nothing to do with the main storyline. So you wasted an hour, a week. Because let's measure it in weeks. You measure, you wasted a week of my life to give me a filler. And then now I gotta wait until next week to maybe get a bit of the real storyline. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what spoiled you. Uh, wasn't um, binge watching spoiled you? That, you sound like somebody that loves to binge watch. I'm gonna <sighs> tell you why. Because we've been through this all the time. We've been through this with Dragon Ball Z. But no, but guess what? But guess what? I could deal with that because those, those what measure out to 15, 20 minutes, not yeah, 48. But- but either either way, it's still I it's, still it's get still, it's the filler of the show. Freaking Goku gathering a spirit, the chief or a spirit bomb had more f- info in no, fifteen didn't. minutes. No, him screaming and the dude realizing that the actor almost fainted doing that scream had more info than figuring out whether or not Glenn died. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. <laughs> Facts. No, I I'm a, Facts. I was so Facts. hurt. He watching your favorite character get his ass whooped, but yo, like, come on, man. Just either you gonna hit back or you gonna lose. What's Look, happening here? I can take that from an anime, but when and then this is a bigger issue. Game a uh, Game of Thrones. Lord forgive me. Walking Dead started off in a way that was no filler. What the first season was six episodes or seven episodes of greatness. Mm-hmm. And, and then, then it, they. They extended them. Yep. Now it's eight episodes. No, it's more than that. It's eight episodes. Oh, mid season finale. Yeah, mid season. Uh, whoever it's came up with a mid season finale, shame on y'all. Yeah, but that's a money move, man. It is. Come on, that, now. no, but that's, but that's that. but that's but that's but this is what I'm saying though. Now the question comes about: Are we? Yeah, it's money. It's a no. money move, right? Like, and it sucks. It sucks. See. You know what? As I got older, and it's sad that I had to start thinking like this, but as I got older, I had you have to think about the money that these people are gonna want to make from this show. Oh, bro! So, yeah, the 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 fan the fan in us want us to get to the point. We read the book. We want to see what's gonna happen. Make it a good episode. Give us six, five good episodes, straight to the point. Make them entertaining as hell. And I will love you. Yep. They're not making no money from it. Nope. So once I started thinking about the money as well, which I shouldn't have to, but I mean, I'm an adult. 
their whole drive. I mean, we can we can so many companies we can talk. Oh, bro, EA, and you, Bungie, and you, oh yeah, Activision. We could go on for days. And then this is this. I mean, I mean getting into my whole uh, conspiracy theories. This is why I roll it over into sports as well. Mm-hmm. When you think about certain teams, like how is it that you historically got the first round pick for the last ten years, but you're still the worst team in the league? Makes mm-hmm. no sense. Yeah, there's money behind all of this. That's why the same teams win and the same teams lose. And 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 the beauty of being a conspiracy theorist is they can't tell you that they're true. You see what I'm saying? So you I, you. That's why arguing with conspiracy theorists is not my thing. We can have a discussion all day. Yeah. Excuse me, but that's that. I just think, especially coming around with Walking Dead, the reason why I'm going to watch it is because I enjoy, just like Ready Player One, I enjoyed the comics. I enjoyed the book. And let me it. And let me tell you this. With Walking Dead, I used to enjoy it, but now it feels... Um, it's starting to hit that whole stride of it doesn't feel innovative like it used to. Yeah. No, hell no. It, it really it, doesn't. It used to be real innovative. I used to love it. It, you know, it, I, I, I've really lost the drive to watch it. My coworkers were laughing at me. Um, they were like, wow, you don't have that much time anymore with the streaming, making a podcast, editing videos, this and that. So why would you even waste your time on something that you don't have a drive to watch? Exactly. And I was like, yeah, but then look what we do is social commentary, man. Yeah. Do it for so the we, people. No. See, we sit down, we'll see, I'll sit down and watch it. I'll sit down and watch it when I got time. I mean, I, I can watch it at any point I, I want because I got the means to do it. Um, but when I sit down and watch it, I don't feel like I'm I'm losing anything. Yes, I wish that I could get, get to the point, get to the fight, get to the battle type deal. But at some point, at some point, I just know that, yo, all right, it's just a show at this point. They took, remember, you were right. In the beginning episodes, it was mad action. If they put just a tad bit more action into this. I wouldn't complain. I'm I would love it. Them running down empty streets, running past zombies, doing this thing. I'm tired of seeing that. Them sitting down, sitting down, looking at the enemy. Rick, Rick is starting to be the new that. Tom Cruise. Dang, He's man, running man. in every scene. How far, how far y'all going to run, man? Okay. What bothers me is why don't they just leave Georgia? Jesus. Like, they keep fighting over the same plots of land like there's not a whole country. You said leave who? Georgia. They they haven't left oh, the state. Yeah. yeah. It's an ego thing now, but I mean now it's now it's you killed my son thing yeah. now so. Yeah. But it's an ego thing. It's like, yo, we we have this established. You destroyed it. You know, and what did the what did the dude say? One of the dudes says, "Yo, why don't we just leave?" Mm. And what did Negan say? No. Yep. It's a it's a ego thing i was about to say something else but it is an ego thing it's an ego thing now i need to prove to not only my people but to them that they ain't shit and i'm gonna do it and same thing with rick same thing same thing with rick yeah we were just having this conversation i was just telling this dude at work hey you can't call negan the bad guy only the bad guy negan's only the bad guy because we see rick as the hero we see this group as the hero you know, if I and, mean, what and, he does is a necessary evil. <laughs> and you know what's really funny by you saying that? And I, I don't know how you feel. I want to call it on this one. When you, by you saying that you actually revitalize the show for me, because mm-hmm. I always say when you can feel for the bad guy, it's a damn good show. Listen, Daredevil. did you see? Did you see the part where Rick, when Rick told him, Call, that Carl yes, the, that was that one of the most I, emotional, like he. Bro, Yo, when I heard that part, when he when he sat there and said that, he was like, "Damn!" He really like, sat down, even, like he sat down. He was fucked. That he was, was messed like up. A, damn, like that really that hurt me. Type, and this is coming from a character that that talks to a bat mm-hmm. with barbed wire on it. Yep. That name that put her on the front seat of a car to drive. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, so, and he the way in that scene alone, if if you pay attention. If you don't know anything other than what you're watching, you can't tell who the good guy and the bad guy is. Exactly. Like Exactly. Just because Rick is the one Rick is the one that's distorted. He's the one that's tired. He's the one that has to keep pushing. 
Negan doesn't have to be. Nope. Negan has people, not only people that work for him, but people that believe in him. You know, his you may not agree with his system. You may not agree with how he does shit. I mean, hell, it's a lot of shit he do that I heard that I've heard not only in this season, but last season that he was doing that I don't agree with. But at the same time, it gets shit done, like he said. You see what I'm saying? So what do you want to do? You want to be safe? You want to be safe? You want to have shit? You want to work for your shit? Or do you want to be out here struggling, running up and down, potentially getting in trouble, getting caught, getting... And that's that's the difference between the two. So I said, and to me, I just want to see... I want to see it happen like the comic books. And what I'm... The part I'm talking about is I'm talking about with me. Mm-hmm. I want <laughs> I wanted to see it happen the way in the in the comic books it happened with Negan. It doesn't I think I'm gonna be a little upset and that's kinda why I sit back and still watch it. And I'm gonna continue to watch it as a true fan. And yeah, man. And you know what folks? Let us know in the comments. What do you guys think of about the state of the show, The Walking Dead? Mm-hmm. Um, how do you feel about uh the death of the most recent character? Um and let us know what do you guys think they could do better or is it just fine the way it is? And on that note, I think I'll, I'm ready to call it. Cause yeah, man, that's it. We we missed our we missed our our, our main topic. We were gonna get to. But, yeah, uh, well, there's always sweet, next week. Uh, <laughs> thank you for saving me because I wasn't fully prepared. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, folks? You guys, please, please, please hit the subscribe button. Just please, please, please hit that. We. We need your guys' support. Without you guys, you know, this is falling on deaf ears or nobody's yeah. ears. Hey, so, without you guys, this doesn't happen. Yeah. You know I'm saying? So thank and you guys. I really appreciate it. Follow us on Twitch. Both of us. You got XT Jones. T Jones with the X's in front of it. And then you got Baron J67. Hey, man, listen, with the plugs, just say the X. Okay. Got you. Plug. Got you. So follow uh xt jones baron j67 follow us on twitter twitch subscribe to our individual youtube pages all our yes, links sir. are below and we really appreciate you guys man much love peace peace